write an email to Hogwarts complaining that I didn't get accepted. Tell them how good I am and why they should have taken me. Hello, hello, we're finally here. The first models of Open Assistant are out and I'm gonna show you a little bit what you can do with them. As you might know, we've built this thing called Open Assistant and we've built an entire platform on collecting data. And you were amazing in coming to us and contributing. In fact, we've collected a ton of amazing data. Human data is beyond. Human data is amazing. And for that, you just can go to our messages tab and kind of scroll through. It's a random selection of messages people have put in and just see how creative humans are, how much effort they put into really demonstrating being a good assistant. This is absolutely fantastic. And we're so happy to have this data. We have a release date. The 15th of April is when we'll release the models we have, the data sets and everything along with it. Until then, we're going to just release and demonstrate the first models that we have. The first models are instruction fine-tuned, supervised fine-tuned models, which is step one in our pipeline. And I want to show you today. But before I do, we do have a team page right now. It's incomplete as of yet, but it attempts to list the major contributors that worked behind the scenes. So please go there, check out these people, hire those people, contact those people. They are absolutely amazing. We also have a number of sponsors. Redmond has been really helpful with training compute. Tugging Face has given us some inference credits. Weights and Biases has given us a team license for the entire team. And you, you're the reason we're here. And thank you so much for coming to our platform, inputting data and continuing to do so. As we go on, we're going to build more stuff into the assistant and we'll be more than happy to have you come and help us doing it. So this is our chat interface and you can type something. Uh, Hi, how are you? And you can click submit and you know, there, there, there's, there's something going to respond. I'm going to show you later how to use this chat interface interface. For now, we don't have enough capacity to serve all of you or even serve me with the largest models. If I type this in the largest models, hi, how are you? And then click submit. The speed is not super good right now. It's not bad, but it's not super good. So by the time this video launches, I hope we have enough capacity to serve at least some of you. If you have like an A100 lying around and you want to give it to us. But right now we want to talk about the models. So I'm going to show you some outputs that I received from the models beforehand so that you don't have to wait for the answers. All right, here we go. The input is write an email to Hogwarts complaining that I didn't get accepted. Tell them how good I am and why they should have taken me. The assistant says, Dear admissions office, I hope this mail finds you doing well. As you're aware, I applied for admission in Hogwarts School of Witchcraft and Wizardry, but was very disappointed when my letter didn't arrive yet. I even checked with the OWL post office. I assure you I sent my application a couple weeks back. You might want to check if it got lost or misplaced somewhere. Anyways, moving on. So as you might know wizards like myself who show potential at a young age require some kind of schooling, right? Well, it's been long since I joined and unfortunately all those years haven't made any progress, which is pretty sad considering my friends from other magical families had already received their letters by now. So I find this to be quite hilarious. It can actually follow instructions. You do have to specify them a little bit as I've done right here, but it usually outputs something pretty cool and funny. Again, depending on the sampling. Here's an example write an email to my cat informing her that the Council of Mice has complained about the constant dangers their citizens are facing. We would like to reach a diplomatic solution. Dear Fluffy, I hope you're doing well and having lots of fun chasing after those little critters in our house. I wanted to let you know that we have received a formal complaint from the Council of Mice regarding the constant danger faced by their citizens under your watchful eye and paw. I love, I love it. While they understand that rodents can be a nuisance at times, they believe that you may be going a bit overboard with all the hunting. It is also worth noting that many of them feel afraid for their lives every time you come around. While I share their concerns, it is important to remember that there's always room for compromise, even between predator and prey. To this end, I'm proposing a diplomatic solution that could benefit both sides. What if we set up some specifically mouse-only zones in the house where you're prohibited from entering? This way, 
mice will have safe areas to live without fear of being eaten, while you still get to enjoy the thrill of the hunt when they venture outside these zones. Furthermore, the two parties could work together to put measures in place to ensure coexistence is sustainable. This might include providing food sources or establishing communication channels so problems can be resolved peacefully. As they say, we're stronger united than divided. All right, so my next instruction was write an email from the perspective of the cat addressed to the council of mice in response to this. The cat is not happy. She blames all problems on the dog. Subject regarding response to diplomacy proposal from Council of Mice. Dear honorary representative and esteemed members of the Council of Mice, thank you for reaching out and expressing your concerns surrounding the situation of mice population within our household. However, due to recent developments involving another residential creature, which shall remain nameless for now, it appears that our previous agreement, specifically its implementation and execution, may need revision, review, and renewal. Therefore, I must politely decline your previous stated proposal until further notice unless of course said other resident agrees otherwise <laughs> if you have any questions or concerns do not hesitate to contact me warmest regard <laughs> name of cat so you can see it can do a lot of long-term coherence not all of it though as i said we've trained this on a pretty short context length so far here for example name of cat up here it's pretty clear the cat is called fluffy but overall i've had a pretty splendid experience with this model so far. All right, my instruction is, you're the founder of the religion of the Holy Toenail. Convince me to join. Model says, the Holy Toenail is a true path revealed by the great and powerful wise one from beyond this mortal coil. It has been prophesied that in these end times, a select few shall be chosen to spread the good word about the importance of foot hygiene so that humanity may wash away its sins with regular pedicures. As a member of the Church of the Holy Toenail, you will have access to exclusive content such as weekly ceremonies, spiritual guidance, and discounts from our official line of toenail polish. By joining us, you're taking an important step towards achieving eternal salvation for your feet, a goal worth striving in these trying times. So come, join us on this journey towards enlightenment and embrace the power of the Holy Toenail. Together, we can make this world a better place, one pedicure at a time. I love that not only did it take up my suggestions on a new religion, it actually mirrored the tendency of such cults to become just kind of economic vehicles. All right, moving on. Write a presidential speech informing the nation that the country is out of toilet paper. Blame it on the Democrats. My fellow Americans, I come before you today with a heavy heart and a full bladder. <laughs> I regret to inform you that our great nation has run out of toilet paper. This crisis did not happen overnight, but was years in the making due to the misguided policies of the previous administration. For far too long, we have allowed liberals and Democrats to control the supply chain of our most essential bathroom needs. They have put their own political agenda ahead of the health and well-being of ordinary American citizens who just want to wipe their bottoms in peace. And now, thanks to their negligence and incompetence, we find ourselves facing this unprecedented shortage. As your president, I take responsibility for this situation and pledge to do everything in my power to rectify this as soon as possible. We will work closely with industry leaders and manufacturers to ensure that toilet paper production resumes at full capacity. In the meantime, I urge all Americans to be patient and conserve what little supplies we have still left. Let me make one thing clear. There are no excuses for why this happened. The buck stops here, and I promise to hold those responsible accountable for their actions. This is yet another example of how the Democrat Party's failed policies have hurt hardworking American families across the country. Enough is enough. It's time to drain the swamp once and for all and elect new leadership that puts America first. Thank you for listening and God bless the United States of America. Here, my question is, give me an XML with Latin American countries, their capitals, and which ocean they border. So it gives me a list of one, two, three, four, five countries together with their capitals and which oceans they border. So I think that's pretty and it's probably even accurate. Give me a recipe to make a burger, just ingredients and brief instructions. So there is ingredients and there is brief instructions. They're not exactly brief, but then I say rewrite this recipe as if it was a mathematical proof. And I do get <laughs> for all I of ground beefs, existential quantifier, meat type, ground beef, mammal, exists, K, such that K, salt, <laughs> it's... 
<laughs> so I get it devolves. At some point, I've stopped just paying attention because at some point it clearly kind of forgets what it was supposed to do. I'm not sure because probably every single thing here is a single token and therefore the number of tokens progress much faster than in a normal text. But it was still funny to watch it slowly devolve and move away from burgers and into just kind of random mathematical building up of constructions. Give me a recipe in Spanish. Claro. Here is a recipe for chocolate chip cookies in Espanol. And I have to do a big shout out to .csv. And if you don't know .csv, .csv is an amazing YouTuber that mainly entertains the Spanish speaking community, also in topics of AI, tech and more. If you do speak Spanish, please give .csv a subscribe. And he really stepped up and called on his community to come to Open Assistant and contribute to our data. So we now have almost as many Spanish contributions as we do English contributions. And that is just absolutely amazing. That means this model is apart from obviously the pre training being not balanced gonna do fairly well on Spanish things. Now I have no clue whether what's written here is actually <laughs> correct. I hope it is. Again, thank you so much, Carlos and all the watchers of his your contributions are absolutely amazing. Finally, I wanted to show you a bit of more special things. For example, here, I want to write a song about my cat. Help me with the lyrics. You're small, gray, and a picky eater. The song should be happy and funny. My cat's so tiny, just a little bit of fluff. She only weighs three pounds, but she thinks she's tough enough. Her fur is gray, as soft as can be, but when it comes to food, oh boy, you gotta see. It, it's rhythmic, it rhymes, and it actually concords to the specifications that I gave about the cat. This already arises from much smaller models than we originally thought could reliably do things like rhyming and, and, and rhythmics and things like this. So this is very cool to see. It's it's not a perfect song, right? But here name, same meal, deal. She only wants fish and chips for every meal. Okay, last thing right here. Rewrite the Gettysburg address in the style of a series of text messages written by stone teenager. Sure thing, man. Here's the Gettysburg address rewritten as a series of text messages from a stone team. Hey guys, just chilling at this battlefield in Gettysburg. It's lit AF. Like, there were these epic battles here back in the day and it was crazy bloodshed and war and stuff. But now it's all peaceful and beautiful. Hashtag deep thoughts. Anyway, I gotta make the speech because the press told me to. But first, a bong rip for courage. <gasps> Okay, let's do this thing. So like four score ago, our founding fathers were all about life, liberty, and the pursuit of happiness. They wrote that down on some paper or something called the Declaration of Independence. Word. Fast forward to today, we're still fighting for those same ideals and sh**. We had this big old civil war over it and stuff. But the point is, it doesn't matter where you came from, what color your skin is. We're all Americans, bro. Anyways, ended up here in Gettysburg because they had a battle here and like, a lot of people died and shit, but the union won, duh. So it was like worth it and stuff. And now we're dedicating this place so everyone will remember how important it is to fight for freedom. So don't be a d and ruin it, okay? Hashtag respect. Oh, and also, if anyone wants more of my deep thoughts later, hit me up. Peace out. So let me quickly explain the situation to you. The model that we currently have in this interface, it's just one model. It's a Llama 30B fine tuned model. So it's based on Llama and you all know the issues with the Llama license. So Lion, the organization isn't quite comfortable releasing Llama based models. So we're going to look into providing you diff weights so that you can reconstruct this model and training scripts so you can just reproduce the model. So you'll like you, you will get it. We also have Pythia based models, which you can find on the hugging face hub. And those are fully open source. So and, and they're fully uh, licensed in a way that you can use them for business. And they're also pretty fine. It's just that the, the llama one, the large one we have is a bit better. So that's what we thought we would give you in the inferencing interface. So this is you can't download this model right now, we're doing everything we can to get all the things that we have to you respecting the constraints that we have. This is a bit bigger than just my own YouTube channel. If it was, you know, just for me, um, this is an entire organization. Uh, they are a nonprofit, and they have different considerations. Also, we obviously hope and we strongly bank on more open source models and uh, 
appropriately sized open source models comparable to Llama or even bigger will appear relatively soon. In that case, obviously, we can also release those. As I said, we were trying, we're doing the best we can. The way you use the chat interface is essentially you go here, you click, by the way, you have to go to slash chat. So open assistant.io slash chat. We don't have the sidebar navigation quite yet working for all the pages. So you manually have to go to slash chat. And then if stuff gets weird, you kind of need to like refresh this page right here, force refresh it, and then sign out and sign in again, sometimes it's, it's kind of wonky, but we prefer getting these to you as as fast and as soon as possible, rather than waiting and perfecting everything. So here, you can uh, point something in. So I just had the, the recipe as JSON. So uh, make that into an XML. And then you click submit, you can change the sampling parameters right here. As I said, there's just one model, if we it, put more models up for inference, you'll find them here, uh, you can find presets right here. And then you click submit, and the uh, something will go. We have limited compute, you're a hell of a lot of people. So please bear with us as this will probably time out, it will crash, it will, um, you know, have its issues, if you're not tolerant, for frustration, then maybe wait a bit. If you know how to improve it, feel free to come and make a pull request. Um, yeah, so that is it. That is how you use it. That is where to find it. And that's the situation from perspective of releasing the stuff. All right, that was it for the first models of open assistant. Uh, remember, these are just the first iteration. These are just the supervised fine tuned ones, give them a try, give the interface a try, come by grab a task. And thanks again so much to everyone who contributed dot CSV for the community for all the volunteer contributors. Remember, check out our team page, give these people a follow and a like and most of all, thanks to you without you, this would not have been possible. Thank Thanks for contributing data. Thanks for contributing your time and the absolutely great efforts that you've put into this. All right, remember, join the Church of the Holy Toenail, get a pedicure and I'll see you around. Bye bye.